Hello everyone. Welcome to Basic Anya. Or I think we uh, must have paid a lot of those people in the audience <laughs> because this is not that great of a show when you think about it. All we do is sit here and pretty much do nothing the entire uh, half hour or so that we're on. But I get paid, so I don't complain. All right. You won 16,000 on our last show. And you have three lifelines here. And you can use them for the rest of the way here. Three of them. You ready to go for 32,000 basic? Yep. All right, let's do it right now. Here we go. Good luck. Here it is. Now, uh, what percentage of police officers eat donuts within their first half hour of going on their daily job? Is it one half, three fourths, two fifths, or 100%? Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure I'd, I'll, uh, let's, um, hmm, I'd like to phone someone. We can do that. Who would you like to call? Okay, I'd, uh, like to call my brother. What is your brother's name? I forgot. Okay, I uh, take it you don't know him too well. No, not really, but uh, he's supposed to be smart. Okay, well, let's get this person on the line. Hello. Hello. This is Kevin from the Basic Kinnear Show. We have your brother here. He doesn't know your name. But uh, he thought he'd call you because he heard you were smart. Oh, okay. All right, you're gonna get 30 seconds and they start right now. Yeah, what, what percentage of police officers eat donuts within their first half hour on the daily job when they start out? Is it uh, uh, one half, three fourths, two fifths, or 100% of them? Well, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Police like to eat donuts. So I would guess it would be one of those choices. Well, there you have it. Well, I'd like to take a 50-50. Okay. Let's see what's left here. It's either gotta be 100% or 3 fourths. Pretty close together, I'm gonna guess. All right, but you can still ask the audience. Probably should have done that to begin with. Uh, three fourths basic answer. It's for sure the 2000 basic right here. You decided to be basic with it, I take it. Well, I want to save another basic lifeline. Well, you probably aren't going to need it for later, because there may not be a later, because I think you got it wrong. Okay. Three force was his answer, and it's the right one. Let's go for sixty four thousand. Good luck. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
what Lovell transgenetic Brunswick did it was discovered in a university outside of Southern Ohio to be a very basic Latoverant. Was it spund, cloves, rausps, or trundus? Okay. B final basic. Alright, you going with B? B is it, it's right! 64 hours of basic. Hundred and twenty-five shells in base right now. Which it is is the best example of a trobe. Is it an exploding refrigerator? An expanding ham sandwich? Exploding socks? Or a car that was driven for fifty miles without any tires? Which of those is uh, is the best example of a trobe? You know what a trobe is, don't you? Yes. For some reason I think it's an exploding refrigerator and I can't place exactly why. I'll make it a basic answer though. I have no idea if that's it or not. You still could have asked the audience, but you don't need to here, you got it right. You just won 125,000 base. Next one is for 250,000 basic. Let's have a look at it. All right. Now, which of these items did Peltro Zazen forget to take with him on his $800 million ocean journey in the Mediterranean? Did he forget to bring a deck of cards, a pail of water, an oxygen tank, or a clean pair of socks. Well, I, uh, let's see. This was back in the 1700s. He, he forgot his oxygen tank and his uh, journey was only four minutes long and uh, France refused to ever fund another one because he was not very smart. Uh, oxygen tank, basic answer. It's difficult to comprehend how basic this is all becoming. You're right! We're gonna take a break, and when we get back, he tries for a half million base. Hello everyone, I'm here uh, with George W. Bush trying to encourage people for voting for him. And, uh, I am being paid quite a bit for this, too. And, uh, did I mention that I'm a whole foot and a half taller than him? Yes, he's very short. Um, Bush, is there anything you'd like to say? He can't take the high horse and then claim the low road. I haven't taken a horse in years. I usually drive my car, which is a $700,000... I know the human being and the fish can coexist. Yeah, that's very good, but it's easy. Rarely is the question asked. 
Is our children learning? Good question. I don't know myself. Yeah, I do my goodest job when it came to education, and I feel I've done it. Verbosity leads to unclear, inarticulate things. Hmm. I stand by all the misstatements that I've made. You just made three of them in this short commercial. Anyways, I vote for George Bush. You don't vote for John Kerry because he's not very good. Um, is there anything else you might like to say, Mr. Bush? Will the highways of the internet become more for you? Oh gosh, I don't know and I don't care. Welcome back to Basic and Ear. Next one on the list is for a half million. He's still got one lifeline. Uh, he can ask our audience people. So are you ready to try for it? Yep. Okay. For a half million basic, here we go. This one here is for half Billy. Good luck. You don't forget to ask the audience here. Here we go. Good, good basic. Good basic. Now, how many eggs came in the very first carton of eggs? Was there two eggs, four eggs, six eggs, or twelve eggs? It's, it's entirely up to you, but you can still ask the basic audience. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna ask the audience. Okay, audience, we need some basic help here. For a half million, how many eggs came in the first carton of eggs? You're his last basic lifeline, so do a good job. Well, quite a few of the audience think it's two. All right. A, two basic answer. Million basic. Yes, it's two eggs in the first dozen of eggs that came out. One and a half million basic. That sound means that we are out of time for tonight. He, he's going to be back here on our next show, and he's going to go for a million basic. Good night, everyone. Cliffhanger basic. <laughs> We don't know if he'll get the next one right or not. It's a cheap way to get ratings. <laughs>